Hello guys, it's Nomaster12 here. I'm back with Boss and Gromit Fright of the Bumblebees. Now, let's go outside, but first... So that's where the dog tags went. I'm sure Gromit will be glad to get them back. Beautiful morning, Mr. Wallace. I'm pleased to see you've emerged from your subterranean lair. Let's change up the stop and go from the Garden Gnome. Now let's talk to Felicity. Been doing a spot of gardening, have you, Miss Flynn? Mm. Working my green fingers to the bone. But the hard work appears to be paying off. Indeed it does. Blooms everywhere. I call it my purple paradise. It certainly looks delicious. I mean, I imagine it would look delicious if you were an insect. If I were a bee? Well, now you mention it. You want to feed my flowers to your bees? That is, if you don't mind. How many would you like? As many as you can spare. Oh, you can have all you want, Mr. Wallace. Oh, much obliged, Mr. Wallace. Doesn't much obliged mean thank you? Uh, right ho. <laughs> now, let's put the seeds on the dirt patch. You can't give the dog tags or the helmet to Felicity, can't you? No. Only Major Crumb. There now, with hard work and a little luck, you should have a nice bed of flowers in two or three months. I can't wait two or three months. I've got a deadline this evening. Oh, you poor simple man. Nothing grows that quickly. Rex Armstrong's quick grow muscle formula. Watch them sprout in seconds. Hmm. If it works on people, perhaps I could adapt it to work on flowers. Flowers? Protein, energize, and strongium. Well, I need a miracle and fast. Stop. It shouldn't be too tricky to knock up a batch myself. Then we'll see who's got the and look, it's Major Crumb. Let's talk to him right now. Now let's talk to him. Got you. Can't take an old soldier by surprise. Morning, Major Crumb. It is. If you don't mind enemy invasion. Enemy invasions? N look at Major Crumb. He's as mad as hell. Expect the sirens to sound any minute. Hope you know where your dearest air raid shelter is. I do recall something about that. But Major Crumb, are you sure you're not mistaken? I know, I know. I've made predictions before, but I'm not crying wolf. This time, I've got proof. I thought he said a fried wolf. Jar. It's what's inside the jar that counts. Incontrovertible evidence that the enemy is on the move. Does it? I can only see a snail. It oh. is a snail. But what's she trying to tell us? That's the important thing. Uh, what is she trying to tell us? Look at her there. She's retreated into her shell in the middle of the day. I can there see her. One thing. Right there. Trouble is about to strike from the heavens. <laughs> Law of nature, Wallace. Let it advance during the war. Never wrong yet. Grab the snail. I see you at least appreciate the seriousness of the situation. Now spread the word. If people don't believe what an old soldier has to say, perhaps they'll listen to the snail. 
Right, before we talk about the snail, um, there's something you didn't know about the dog tags and the helmet. I'm gonna, rather than the cellar, you could do it here, on Westworthy Street. First of all, let's give him the dog tags. I found these in the hall, Major Crum, and dog tags. I've been recommissioned. Bound to heaven, of course. Can't leave good military material sitting on the shelf. My place is in the treasure. Now all we need is a helmet. So let's give that to him. I thought you might find this useful, Major Crum. A helmet? Why, George Wallace, there's nothing like a good helmet. Makes a fellow want to put himself in the path of projectiles. If you know what I mean. What happens if you do this to Major Crum, the snail? No point in showing her to me, old man. I'm already aware of the danger. Show her to the others. Unbelievable. Right, let's show him... I mean, her to the others. Sorry. Now, show the snail to Mr. Pinia. Ah, Mr. Follies. Just bear with me for a moment, Mr. Pinia. Major Crumb wanted me to show you this. It's a snail, Mr. Follies. I know. Why are you showing me a snail? Well, it's in its shell, you see. And according to Major Crumb, when a snail goes into its shell during the day, it means we can expect untold airborne activity of an unpleasant nature. Go home, Wallace, and get some rest. Reckon you've been overdoing the inventing? Forget Mr. Wallace, 50 gallons by sunset. It shows the snail to Winnie Gavily. Hey, old Wallace, love. How's business? Do you know anything about snails, Mrs. Gavily? I know they eat them in continental parts. Well, yes, but do you think there's anything special about this one? To be honest, I couldn't rightly tell. That's right. Hurrah, bye then. the snail to Constable Dibbins now. May I show you something, Constable Dibbins? Is it important? It might be. That's a snail, Wallace. Do you notice anything peculiar about it? Only the person what's holding it. Well, did you do as I asked? We did do as he said. Should have responded yes, Wallace. Well, what do they have to say now that they've seen the snail? Well, I haven't exactly shown it to everyone. Oh, yes, you have. Look at that. What, Dad? Go away, please, because you are ruining the video. Not until I stop the video. Can you check your name again? Not now, because I'm about to show the snail to Felicity. Why would you want to interrupt the video? Because our friends are leaving, moving away, and I want to sign the card and come and say goodbye to them nicely. I know. Yes, but you're being selfish. I don't want to be a selfish boy. Don't, don't call me selfish. Oh my God! Look at Major Crumb. He's scared. Have you lost your mind, Wallace? I'm not sure, to be honest. Note, you can't show the snail to Mr. Gabberly, Mr. Nutter or Gromit. See you later.